Cars and driving. At a time when the hormones are racing, their judgment is impaired, um, they have brain snaps, um, they're going to take probably first the family car and disappear. And then at some point they might have their own car. I think you need to be very clear about your boundaries. If your grades are not good, you will not drive the family car and you certainly won't buy a car of your own. You will have no car. If you use the family car, no one else can drive the car except for you. You need to plan ahead. You can't make an assumption. Oh, mom, I need to use the car. I'm sorry, I need the car. No, 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 I need to go and meet my friends. You need to ask me ahead of time if you're gonna use my car. I remember one time, uh, walking out into the garage, opening door, walking in the car, garage, and there was nothing in the garage. And it was like, where did my car go? And when the teenager came back, I said, um, you can't just take the car and disappear. Well, I just had to run over the store. I said, I walk in the garage and my car is gone. You know, I need to be somewhere. Or I think the car is stolen. Bottom line, it's not acceptable. Um, if you're using my car, then your responsibility every weekend, and I used to have it by Saturday by noon, you need to wash and vacuum the car. And that's for the right to use the car. Um, you can't leave stuff in the car, same rule. Leave stuff in the car, then it's going to cost you either a chore, or it's going to cost you uh, time off your, or money off your allowance. I remember one time getting in the car, and I got in and closed the door, and it was like, Oh, goodness, I went in the house and said to um, Scott, go find it right now. It was one sweat sock. One sweat sock. Absolutely take every bit of air out of the car. He went and found it, and that choice to leave it in the car cost him a chore. Um, if you get any tickets, you're going to pay for them. Parking tickets or or speeding tickets, you're going to pay for them. I'm not going to pay for them. I think it's really important that you talk to your children about drinking and driving. Now, on one level, I don't want my children drinking um, during this, this age zone, teenage, up until age 19. And the bottom line is, should you choose to drink, don't even think about driving. And you need to show them some pictures on the Internet you need to show them the reality of what can happen if they drink and drive. It is not acceptable to drink and drive. I was in a car um, in high school with a friend. A drunk driver came through the signal, hit her side of the car, and killed her. And when I talk to teenagers in this Making Good Choice class that I do, I say that, you know, they all go, <gasps> like this, and I said, yeah, it pretty much ended her life, didn't it? And that's extremely sad for me, for her family, for her friends. Let's look at the life of the person driving the car. In this case, it was a man. He wakes up the next day, he's in jail. Why am I in jail? You were drinking and driving. Oh, no. And you killed a kid. What do you do with that? The rest of his life has been imprinted by one moment of judgment. You need to tell your children that when you drink alcohol, it impairs your ability to make a good choice. I was walking out of a party one night with my husband. I was pregnant with my first child, and I put my hand out, and he said, what? And I said, um, I'll drive home, because he'd had too much to drink. I'm fine. Well. I started to walk down the street. He said, where are you going? I said, well, I'm not going in the car with you. And um, so he gave me the keys. And on the way home, I was driving. He passed out. And I say to the kids, because life stories work, what could have happened had he been driving? Could have killed me, could have killed our baby, could have killed him, could have hurt somebody else. You don't recover from those choices. Don't make good choices when you drink alcohol. 
you need to have this conversation with children ahead of time because they need to know that they are responsible for their choices even if they've had too much alcohol. Um, I had a rule that I would pick up my children, no questions asked. If they called me and they said, I need a ride, I'd say, where are you? I would go and get them and I wouldn't ask any questions. Do you know how hard that is for me? Because I want to know what's happening and who did it and what's going on. I want to understand the theory and the reason behind it. I mean, I want to know. But that was my agreement. So my children had a way to get out of a difficult situation or if they made a bad choice, to get home safely. No questions asked. Um, if your child earns money and gets their own car and bu buy it, buys it themselves, they need to understand that as long as you are providing the roof over their head and the food, then they are still under your rules and the, their car is under your control. So you can take their car away, take their keys away. Because as long as you're pay paying for their way of life, you are still the boss. And if your child buys their own car, it's important that they buy their own insurance because as they move out of the home, they don't want to have a sudden surprise of it takes more than buying gasoline to keep up with a car. Um, and to be responsible. Um, one night, there were a bunch of teenagers and they left a party and none of them had been drinking, including the driver. But they were in a minivan and a, the kids started bouncing around and all over the place. And, the, and they went into an S-curve and when they went into the S-curve, the bouncing around in the car, bouncing off of each other, being rowdy, just being rowdy, rolled the van. Two of the kids were killed. It absolutely destroyed the life of the kid who was driving and he did nothing. He hadn't been drinking. He wasn't speeding. He did nothing. And I was aware of this accident because I was the car behind it. I was glad I wasn't the mother or the father of what happened. I don't want you to be either. Talk to your children about drinking and driving. Talk to your children about the responsibility of being in a car and that you can end somebody's life. Talk to your children about the fact that there are some mistakes that you can't retrieve and you need to make good choices. Talk to your children about cars and driving.